Latest news, rumors, and sleaze in Hollywood. It's the Jump Sleaze on Jump 106.9. Well, Britney Spears is finally taking her famous Vegas show on the road overseas, and she'll be performing in Tel Aviv for the first time ever on July 3rd. Now, you might think I'm alone in thinking this is a big deal, but think again, because it's such a big deal in Tel Aviv that the government actually changed the date of the country's federal election because it clashes with Britney's concert. A spokesperson for the government told the press that the two reasons for rescheduling the election are because they had trouble recruiting enough security guards to cover the election. I guess there's only a handful of bodyguards in Tel Aviv. They also thought moving the date of the election would make it easier for people to reach polling stations because of the heavy traffic expected in the city. Now, some other outlets are reporting that the government is worried they might lose out on some young votes from concert goers who wouldn't bother voting because of the excitement of Britney being in town. Now, they did not confirm any party officials that were planning on going to see Britney, but I think that's the real issue here. The the elected people want to go see her, so <laughs> how, could they, how could they be getting voted in? Seems oh. pretty extreme for a Britney Spears concert. No offense, Jesse. She's wonderful. She's a big deal. But to change an entire election date? <laughs> yeah. like that, I don't know. It seems a little extreme. It almost seems like it'd be easier for her to reschedule, but yeah. maybe not. It's Britney's world. We just live in it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you've got an elderly Barry Manilow fan in your life who never installed Gaydar, you might want to have her sit down when you tell her the earth-shattering news that Barry Manilow has come out of the closet. The most poorly constructed closet in the history of mankind, <laughs> but still. <laughs> yes. Barry Manilow is gayer than Rosie O'Donnell at a hardware floor sale at Home Depot, but <laughs> he's never publicly come out and said it until now. 73 years old, Barry has decided to talk about his 40-year relationship with his husband and manager, Gary Keefe. So maybe he'll have to rewrite the lyrics to this song Mm -hmm. from Mandy to Gary. That would work. Gary and Barry. I know. It's like it was meant to be. By the way, Gary was a TV executive when they met back in 1978, and it was love at first sight. Gary almost broke up with Barry, though, because he had a hard time dealing with the fame and attention that Barry got, but he stuck it out, and they've lasted for almost four decades. You hate to say it, but 40 years ago, if Barry Manilow was out of the closet, he probably wouldn't have been successful, and that that really sucks to say, but I'm glad he's really coming to terms with things now. Well, that is one of the main reasons, he said, and we've heard that before from people like Ricky Martin, too. Yeah, and who says that you have to... To be open about your yeah. sexuality. Who says you have to declare your sexuality? Yeah. I mean, some people come out when they're babies, like me. And <laughs> some people, when they're in the dinner at three phase of life. But it's not easy no matter when you do it. So good for Barry. Um, even if him coming out is the same as Richard Simmons coming out. But still, let's all raise our coffee in celebration for Barry. Yay, Barry and Gary! <laughs> and besides, the real breaking news headline here is that a celebrity has been in the same relationship for over 40 years. <laughs> right? <laughs> now you're up.